Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video on my channel. So over a year ago, I did the egg diet by Versatile Vicky, and it wasn't as successful as I expected, even though I know I did a lot of wrong things. And I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys telling me to redo the diet and do it properly. And what I did wrong, you guys just pointed out all the things I did wrong. So it's taken me over a year to like redo this diet. It's not easy, but yeah, I wanted to really um, just go in and do it properly to really see if it works because I could not conclude from my last video because I didn't follow the diet to the T. I was adding my own stuff there like mangoes. I was crazy but yeah I just added some crazy stuff that were not supposed to be there so this time around I decided to go ahead and do it the right way and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so without wasting much time let's get into what I actually ate and what time what quantity and all of that good stuff so I actually did this diet for four days so yeah I wanted to do seven but I just wanted to see if it works and yeah so I did this for four days and the results were amazing I'm not going to give you the numbers now I'm just going to go ahead and weigh myself and then I'll see you guys at the end so let's get into it so on the morning of day one I went ahead and weighed myself so this is my weight right now and after that I did some jump ropes actually I did jump ropes for the first two days so for breakfast, I'm going to be having three hard-boiled eggs. I want to make sure they're medium size. I'm also going to be having some green tea. Um, this green tea is actually called brown tea. It's from Long Reach. And it does have zero calories. So with your tea, you want to make sure you're using a tea that is zero calories because that's what the diet calls for. So yeah, it's a detox tea. So I chose to use that instead of just normal green tea according to the diet your breakfast is supposed to be 225 calories because we're having just three eggs for now so yeah your breakfast should be 225 calories and the green tea should be zero calories so yeah make sure you don't go overboard with your calories because this is where many people fail so yeah if you have too many calories then you're going to exceed the goal of 900 calories for lunch i'm going to be having three hard boiled eggs um an apple a medium sized apple even though i think my apples are way smaller so yeah and then a cup of green tea so the total calories for lunch is about 340 calories which if we also add that to the breakfast we just have we just had it's about 565 calories so yeah i'm counting calories because it's very important for our snack we're going to be having some carrot and cucumber so yeah last time i didn't bother to even have these but now i want to make sure that i have everything that was mentioned in the diet because i think it's important so i just brought out my scale just to measure these things to weigh them so that i don't overeat because it's very easy to go overboard the calories that are mentioned so yeah especially with the carrots carrots are a bit more higher in calories than cucumbers so i just had to measure that up and then again, I'm peeling the cucumber. You don't have to. I don't just like the way the skin looks. So I'm peeling that off. And I think it's also going to reduce the weight and all of that. But yeah, you don't have to peel it. You can just wash it very well and eat it like that. Uh, yeah, so for this snack, the total calories are supposed to be 60 calories. So you want to make sure it's 60 calories and nothing more. So... My cucumbers are not even up to <laughs> the weight or the calories I wanted. So yeah, I'm going to add some carrots and make sure that I weigh it just to make sure that it's balanced. So the way you do this is you weigh it and then if you know the calories per gram of the cucumber or the carrots, then it's easier. So you know the weight and then you'll be able to know the total calories in the grams you've already measured. So that's what I did. 
This is the only snack you're supposed to have when you feel hungry, but I did have mine in between breakfast and lunch and sometimes in between lunch and dinner. So dinner is where it gets a little bit complicated. I remember last time I think I ate a lot more of the oatmeal than I needed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I count the calories properly. I think she just released a video talking about you can use 3 tablespoons of the oatmeal. Even though I'm using 3 tablespoons, I'm still going to make sure that the calories are not uh, more than what's required. Because every oatmeal is different. You want to check the calories per gram in the oatmeal you're using. Just to make sure that you have the right measurement. And according to the diet for the oatmeal... You're supposed to be having 160 calories, including everything else. So yeah, minus the apple, because our second apple will be eaten in this diet. So I went ahead and added some almond nuts. So she said you can add about 6 to 8, but since I'm counting calories, I did 4. added some flax seeds, chia seeds, all of these were just like 2 grams, which are not much in calories. Now, when it comes to the milk, this is a bit complicated as well because she uses, I think, a cup of milk. I don't, I don't know what milk. I cannot remember. But yeah, I couldn't get any milk that I trust because last time I used powder milk, which many of you were like, oh, it's not good. It's not going to help you lose weight. So this time I'm using unsweetened yogurt. I just used a tablespoon of it. And I did count the calories just to make sure that it matches up or it balances up in the 160 calories I'm going for. I cooked the oatmeal with the flax seeds and chia seeds. Then I added my almond nuts, added my apple to it. Then just added my yogurt. You can just mix your yogurt in, but I decided to just add it the last so that I can really get the taste of it. So yeah, I'm just going to add my yogurt you are free to add whichever nuts you like but i'll advise that you pay attention to the calories make sure that it's within what you're going for and not um too much so i'll just add a pinch of cinnamon just for flavor and taste so yeah that's it for tina i have a cup of green tea before bedtime when it's work day, I actually have my breakfast at home. Then I pack my lunch, which consists of three hard-boiled eggs and apple and my snack, which is cucumber and carrots. And I just take that with me to work. And when it's lunch time, I'll go ahead and eat. You want to make sure you really plan this so that you don't um, fail to follow up with your diet because if you forget to take your lunch then it becomes complicated so i pack my lunch to work first i'll have my snack before i actually have the before lunch. i go ahead and share my final weight after day four i just wanted to say that water is a crucial part of this diet i want to make sure you have enough of it so i had about 2.5 liters of water every day so at this point, I've done the diet completely for four days and it's the morning of day five and I'm just going to weigh myself. So from the comparison from day one, I've lost about four kg, which means I lost a kg a day. So it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it very helpful. If you struggle to lose weight on this diet, you might want to make sure you try this method. Count every single calories and make sure that they are amount to 900 calories the oatmeal is very tricky it's very easy for you to go overboard and you check the kind of oatmeal you bought and the calories per gram so yeah just make sure that you check and also when it comes to the milk that's where people go wrong too as well the milk i just decided to do a tablespoon of yogurt and that was it and it did um, amount to the number of calories I was going for so yeah you want to make sure you pay attention to all of those stuff and don't go over the required calories and you're going to see results thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel below and turn on post notifications so that you'll be the first to be notified 
whenever I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!